Hey Math Kids, today we're going to talk about rates of change and how it relates to calculus. So, <clears throat> so we've, we've dealt with like average rate of change in previous classes and really that's all this section is talking about. And so if you just remember So y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1, you know, you can think of it as rise over run. You can also think of it as the change in y over the change in x. So however you want to think of it, it's fine. Um, if we have a graph, let's say it looks like this. If we draw just like a tangent line there, <clears throat> We're going to look at the slope there. You know, another word for this is slope or gradient, as your book calls it. Um, so for average rate of change, we'd look at these two points. We call this x1, y1. We call this x2, y2. And then we'd plug it into this formula, find the slope between those two points, and that would be our average rate of change. So rate of change, just remember, is really just slope. <clears throat> now technically the definition is a little bit different, but I, I think if we just think of it as slope, we're going to be okay. And that is essentially all this video needs to talk about. So, calculator.